The Almost Rich, Almost Famous duo is here at Town Hall for the ninth annual Feed the Need, where they're serving up thousands of meals for the less fortunate here in the greater Cleveland area. Such an amazing event. I actually also heard there are some pretty big things in there, so we're going to go chat with them and see what's going on. This is the real star of the entire day. The man, the myth, the legend, Bobby George, who started this entire amazing event. Bobby, how did you even come up with this concept, and how did it all get started? So, I'm actually not the star. My uncle's been doing this for like 25 years in Michigan. Oh, awesome. Little family diner in Dearborn, Michigan, called Leon's Family Restaurant. So, growing up, I watched him serve the homeless every Thanksgiving. And when I opened my own restaurant, I was inspired to do it myself. And how do you continue to make it grow each and every year? You know, the reason we work with the athletes is because they're great at drawing. They have these social media platforms that can get the word out to help raise awareness for the cause and raise money and for the clothing drive and everything. That's one of the main reasons we partner with the athletes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we know that Baker and Emily were the host and hostesses this year. How yeah. did they do? They're, they were the, they've were been the host and hostesses the last three years we've had Got it. Got it, okay. They did a great job. They're so humble and loving and just, yeah. just selfless people. They really are special people. How many families do you think you fed today? Um, today we delivered, I think, a thousand and served four thousand, so maybe five thousand. Then yesterday we did a couple thousand in Columbus. One of the most famous Cleveland fans is standing with us now, Mr. Pumpkinhead. Okay, and so I have a very serious question for Pumpkinhead. Earlier today, he was standing here without his pumpkin head on. And I said to Rob, our videographer, I said, he is such a good looking guy. That's the only reason I recognize that that's him. Why does he continue to wear that pumpkin on his head? Take it off. Take it off. Show the people. Like, oh, you are so handsome. Reveal. I'm so confused. So I ran into Kareem at a recent wedding. The dude's got moves. Okay, so I actually want to break down the moves because Bridget really is self-proclaimed, like, best Dougier of all time. Did you see this happen on the dance floor, and did you compete? Uh, I would compete. You would compete? Yeah. Okay. But, but guess who didn't compete? Who did it? You. You didn't. You know, all I remember is me and the bride. The circle was around us. Cream was nowhere to be found, so I think I might have the better moves. I don't think so. Uh, whenever you want to battle me, just let me know. Oh, you know, give me the time, date, place. You can pick the music, too. You know, I can slow grind. I can, you know, <laughs> break dance. I can, you know, do a bunch okay, of I'd like to pick dance, the music, you know I mean? and I would like for it to be a little slow grinding session. My favorite chief from the U. From the U. A little you, you matter. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Oh. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm le <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, ready, good. We're good to go. Do it again, do it again. There you go. Get that, get that. Straight up. So I'm basically standing with a bunch of comedians right now. I am no longer the funniest one in the group. We've got Ross Smith, Nick Chubb, and John. Nick claims that he is the funniest guy here, but Betsy has a very important question for you, so it'll determine if you're actually funny. Okay, so I'm actually thinking Nick, since he's claiming he's not funny, might not want to answer this one, but how does everyone feel about that meme and that t-shirt that I see everywhere that says Chubb Hub? Like, what is every? Yeah. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't know what that even means. I have no idea what that means or what it stands for. Okay, well, I'm sure your friends can explain it. Yeah. So John has, has worked with the other hub uh, extensively. Uh, he's one of their main cast members. It was a secret this whole time, and you you just revealed it. Breaking news right yeah. here. What is your ultimate favorite side dish at Thanksgiving? Um, that's tough. I'm a dressing guy. It's called stuffing. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Emily, thank you. Oh, so we, we just had this debate. We were like, wait, it's stuffing. Well, you call you it asked, dressing? You asked my favorite, so I'm going to say my favorite is dressing because that's what it is. Yes, with a little cranberry and some gravy, and of course. So you like ranch. Basically, that's what dressing is. It's called ranch. I'm more of a dressing guy. 
It's not stuffing. It's no, not the debate. Is it stuffing or is it dressing? Because I say it's stuffing. It's dressing. No, dressing is ranch. No, 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 no. It's, it's sauce. It's what? It's sauce. You gotta put the sauce on there. Cranberry? What is it? Oh, yeah. What is he saying? I uh, I like the cranberries a lot. That's my favorite, probably. Okay, but is do you call it stuffing or do you call it dressing? Damn, I don't even know. I'm Canadian, Canadian, so actually, I don't know. He's like, Can Canada, we don't even mess with it. Number one draft pick when it comes to side dishes. Definitely dressing. Really? My mama make the best dressing. I don't eat anybody dressing. Mama make the best dressing. I love you. You know what I mean? She makes some good. <laughs> Tell you. Big debate. Stuffing versus dressing. You go dressing. Like, your family calls it dressing. Dressing. That's stuffing? Dressing. Okay. <laughs> no, I like Thanksgiving dressing. Thank you very much. That's so weird because I don't make dressing on Thanksgiving. I make stuffing. <laughs> you don't want to get lost in the sauce. Yeah. That's oh, what I, I like said. That. Yeah, we do. Like, a That's an American yeah. thing. Okay, yeah. That's an American thing. Okay, well, I've always called it stuffing. It's dressing. And then Baker also said dressing. I'm like, wait, you like ranch as your favorite side dish? I was very confused. No, it's dressing. Oh, I thought we were talking about, like, like, like the gravy. Oh, no. You said dressing. When you said dressing, I thought you were talking about... So you called stuffing, man. Oh, yeah, stuffing. Oh, when you said dressing, I got confused. Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. We're all very confused. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys all have a wonderful oh, Thanksgiving. So, what is something that you're both most thankful for and you can't say each other? Oh. Um, we're both very family-oriented, so I, I think being able to actually still have family time on Thanksgiving, talk to our family, if they're not able to come here, call them, check in. Uh, just that quality time that, you know, in the midst of a, kind of a, a crazy year that we're able to take that time to step back and realize priorities. I agree. I was going to say family. Um, and I guess to change it up a little bit, kind of just having the opportunity, it sounds corny, but having the opportunity and the platform to be able to do stuff like this, um, you have to be in a very blessed position to be able to help others. So we're super, super thankful to be able to do that.